a few years ago, our next guest was a daytime TV producer for this very company, actually. Now she's running a hugely successful group of restaurants called Slutty Vegan. I love the title. She's a Time 100 Next honoree, and she's got a new book out, and it's called I Hope You Fail. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. You can find it wherever books are sold. Give it up for Pinky Cole. <laughs> Something. Oh, go ahead. Sugar, butter, flour. flour. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, that's yes. a bop. I we should have had you out here for you that. Have. You could have at least done butter and shown them when to sing. Right, we could have <laughs> did a baby dance at least. I know, that's, <laughs> I know. That's so sweet. So this is third number three for you, right? Yes. I have yes. been pregnant. For how long? Hear this out. Hear I, this out. I've been pregnant since 2020. Oh my and God. I'm so serious, 2020, oh. 21, 22, and now 23, and I am done respectfully after oh this. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I understand that. I was like, if you don't take these tubes, I'm yes. gonna find you. Somebody needs to tie them up, yeah. but I'm happy. I'm due any day now. Oh my gosh, that's uh, incredible. Yes. Uh, I love this, so you were a producer here. Was it Mari for this Maury company? Yeah. I was a producer, guys, for the Mori Show. Oh my gosh. <laughs> how did that, like, how did the transition happen? Um, so it was so cool because being a producer on the show, obviously, like, you meet people from all walks of life. And then a friend of mine was like, hey, do you want to open up a restaurant? I'm like, okay, well, I never knew how to cook, really, but I'll do it. And I opened up my first restaurant in Harlem, New York. Wait, you went from not really knowing how to cook to owning a restaurant? Yeah, I like to eat more than Teach I can cook. Teach me yes. your way. <laughs> Um, and I opened up this first restaurant and it was super successful. And I learned everything I could about the restaurant business. So like I had lines down the block and mind you at the time, I'm a vegetarian and I'm selling jerk chicken and oxtails. Do as I say, not as I do guys, it didn't work. Yeah. Um, and then I had a grease fire. Oh, so no. I lost everything, right? Can you tell I'm a producer who's like oh. the drama, the high. The <laughs> um, but I, I, had, I had a grease fire, seriously. I can laugh about it now, right? But like at the time I was devastated. And with that grease fire, my car got repoed. I got kicked out of my apartment. Um, it takes got one garnished. huge thing like that that could just change your whole but life. But I needed yeah. that to happen because it really put me in position to create this household name that the world now knows as Slutty Vegan. Yeah. So, yeah, it is interesting how something devastating happens and like what beauty comes out of that, yeah. like sometimes. Um, yeah. Well, I want to try this food. So what do we have here? Because this looks like banana pudding. So this is our sea moss banana pudding. Yes. And we have our world famous pies. Let me take this. Yes. <laughs> so, so this is our homemade pie, world famous. Mm -hmm. um, so delicious, all vegan, right? So there are no bi animal byproducts, no dairy products, nothing. I've been that vegan for a long amazing. time. That tastes amazing. And this is our sea moss banana pudding. Okay. It's one of our number one sellers. Um, do you like it? Oh my God. <laughs> Would you tell the truth? If it was nasty, would you really be like, no, it's nasty, I don't like it? No, 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 that is really good. <laughs> People go crazy over this. Yeah, keep talking. And it's a coconut, <laughs> it's a coconut milk. So here we have, oh it's a God. coconut milk uh, based um, with- That is yeah. delicious. I'm glad you like it. You can't have that back. That one definitely is staying Listen, with me. And you know what's so cool about veganism is nowadays vegan food tastes better than the quote unquote real thing. That's if you get good yeah. vegan. That's because you're good at what you're doing. It has to be slutty vegan. Yeah, okay. exactly, exactly. <laughs> Wait, what is this? What's this? So that's our world famous blackberry mayo sauce. Um, and you, you're not gonna find that sauce nowhere else, right? Oh so my like, God, do you bottle it? Can you buy it? Not yet, but I will. Good. And I do have products in Target stores right okay. now. Yes, okay. So you need to. Mama need gotta to... pay the bills, so we got revenue coming in from everywhere, okay? So coming amazing. very, very soon, yes. And oh. all of this is a, a result of failing. So, you know, I, I wrote this book called I Hope You Fail. Yeah. And it really Which is. Which is amazing, the Thank title. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. My last book was called Eat Plants, Bitch. So I know, I, I know. <laughs> you got it. You got to have it pop off the shelf. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I got to smack people in the face. Yeah. But I created this book because I've been through so much in my life. Yeah. My father did 22 years in prison. Um, I know what it feels like to be broke. I've been in enough bad relationships. But on the other side of that, I created a multi-million dollar company that's now valued at $100 million. Wow! Right? Um, and I'm really helping people 
to re-engineer when bad things happen because it's all about your mindset. If you can shift your mindset, you can change the world. And that's exactly what this book is going to do. I love that. And yes. I love your food. Thank you. Um, I'm not kidding. Every single thing is going Yay. to my dressing room at the end of this day. <laughs> so let's do a commercial break. I'm probably going to eat more. Pinky Cole's new book is called I Hope You Fail. Um, you can find it wherever books are sold and everyone is going home with a copy. Yay. And don't